Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Melissa, the boss lady here at Crazy Love Bath and Body. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Last week we made a man soap with pine tar. This week we're going to be making two men soap. Um, one is Dragonstone, which we're carrying over that fragrance from before. And a new fragrance that I have no idea what we're going to call it, to be perfectly honest. The fragrance is Bay Rum. It smells really good. It's masculine. I don't know what to call it. So comment down below some name suggestions and let's go make some soap. Okay, in this bucket, we've got our coconut olive castor and certified sustainable palm oil. I'm adding in our lye water solution and we're just going to blend that up until combined. So we're gonna be making two men's soaps today. Um, this one that we're starting with is Dragonstone and we're going to be making it in a 20 pound slab. So I'm just gonna add in our colorant. I blended up Trial by Fire um, from Nurture Soap and a little bit of activated charcoal to try to get this maroon color. I wanted it to be a little bit deeper of a red, but I still like the way it looks. Now that we have that colorant blended in, we're going to go ahead and add our fragrance oil. This is called Dragon's Blood. It's a blend of amber, myrrh, sandalwood, and patchouli. Whenever we get requests for patchouli fragrance, this is the soap that we point them to. It's our most popular. Everyone loves how strong the patchouli is in this fragrance. I'm really excited to be bringing it back for our men's line. So we've got that all incorporated and I've got our 20 pound slab mold lined with freezer paper. We're just going to be pouring in our soap and then texturing the top. I wasn't sure how I wanted the top to look, but I finally decided to use the bottom part of the spoon and just tap that down. I kind of thought it looked like dragon scales, and so we just went with it, and I really love the way it turned out. I made sure to resist any urge I may have had to add our biodegradable glitter to this, but I left it without. So I'm just gonna show you how we make this other men's soap. Um, this one is fragranced with bay rum and it smells like a spicy blend of crushed cloves, cinnamon sticks, patchouli, crisp pine needles, and sweet orange freshness. Now, I think this smells uh, like really nice and clean, but I have no idea what I should call this soap. So comment down below what do you think we should name this soap? It'll be um, for a man soap only. And we actually added a different colorant to this soap. So this soap will not be this light cream color. It'll actually be like a tan brown type color, um, almost a gray actually. It kind of morphed into a gray. Um, the picture is on the thumbnail, but I, have no idea what I'm going to call this guys. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to choose a name that you guys want to see. Okay. So now that we have that one complete, I've got our Dragonstone slab mold ready to be cut into individual loaves. So we're just going to set that on our cutter. And this cutter is actually custom made for me um, by a friend here locally. So it's not available online, but if you're interested in it, let me know and I can get you their contact information. But we're just going to slide this soap through 
and cut it into individual loaves. So I like the way this red turned out. I'm going to go for a deeper red next time, but I'm happy with this. I think it looks really cool. And the little scales texturing I did on top, I'm really excited about. So we're just gonna be using our single bar cutter today to cut the man soap. Um, I have it set up for this particular size and it's what we'll be cutting all the man soap on. And I just love how big these soaps look. They are just gorgeous. I am so excited about them. So I think gorgeous is probably the wrong word. I meant to say manly and strong. I am just so excited for you guys to see these man soaps in person. They are fantastic. I love how big they are and the feedback we're getting from our testers are just, they are loving the size. All right, so we're just gonna be cutting into our to be named soap. <laughs> this one's fragrance with Bay Rum. Again, that is a blend of cloves, cinnamon stick, patchouli, pine, and orange. And it's a nice, refreshing, clean fragrance, very masculine, but I have no idea what to name this. Um, I did change the colorant, so it doesn't look like this creamy color. It is more um, gray tannish. Uh, the soap that I'm holding on the thumbnail is the color of this soap actually. I also wanted to let you guys know that these soaps will be available in February. We plan to release them. We'll announce that on our Facebook and Instagram page if you wanna follow us there. But these will be on our website um, in February and we are so excited to be bringing this to you guys. So I decided on all of our man soap to do things a little bit different than we've done in the past and bevel the edges. So I'm taking this vegetable peeler or potato peeler and it's just a straight edge and I'm gonna take it and gently slide it along the edges of all of our soaps. So normally I let these cure for a few days, um, sometimes longer before I do this, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. So I'm just taking the potato peeler down the edges and um, just so they're smoother and it's sticking to the potato peeler and driving me crazy because it's not quite cured yet. And um, yeah, so I'm just softening up all the edges since this bar is so large, I wanted it to be a nice smooth bar for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. These man soaps will be available in February. Follow us at the links below and we will be announcing that on social media. And join us again next week for another video.